Oh hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here, oh here, with another MC's regrets and reviews for you. I'm gonna jump straight in, I have 10 products. I am very far ahead with these videos. So yeah, um, I have 10 products. The first product I have is this uh, facial 3 month cleansing wipes. These are for normal skin. I tend to change between normal and the dry ones. Um, there's 25 wipes in here. They cost about 40 pence and they are from Aldi. They are cruelty free. They look like this. Would I buy them again? Yes, they've been in loads of my videos. Uh, the next thing I'm to quickly show you the packaging because I no longer have it. Um, I have a Kath Kidston. It came out of a Christmas advent calendar. It is a scented soap. It was the Blossom Bird. I didn't love the smell, I'm not gonna lie. I won't go out and wait to buy it either because the nearest cast kids into me, I have to go into the centre of my town and way too much effort for me. And if I buy it online, I have to pay shipping and I could just go into my local supermarket and pick up a bar of soap. So are I really that bothered by it? Probably not. But I did enjoy it. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed it. But yeah. Hmm. I'll buy it. The next thing I have is some Jimmy Choo perfume. Now I had this in my last Empties Regrets and Reviews and it was only a sample but I got about two or three wears out of this. I think about two and a half wears, um, five between the two bottles that I got. I would not purchase this, not because I didn't love the smell, because I didn't get a compliment. And I know that's really probably like people are like, oh that is such a thing to say. No, it's not. I wear a MAC perfume that's £25 for 50 mils, and every time I wear it does somebody go, Little you smell amazing, what are you wearing? I'm like, oh, thank you. But I didn't get that with that. And it's not because I want to be snobby and I want people to smell me, you know, but I think if my partner, for instance, puts on one million, he smells amazing. My partner's friend puts on one million, and it's like, what are you wearing? It's like they're two completely different things. It just depends on how it sits on your skin. And I think if someone gives you a compliment, you know that one was kind of made for you. <laughs> That's the way I deal with it. It's just, and I, that one didn't do it. So, Jimmy Choo Fever, I just don't need it. I mean, don't get me wrong, if someone gave me one, I would wear it. But, I wouldn't go out my way and I wouldn't purchase it myself. I have a sample here. It is dried out. It was a MAC False Lash Extreme Black Mascara. Gone. I wouldn't purchase it. That's really bad. I know. I'm sorry. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't purchase it. It's, I just. It's like mascara is mascara. You get good ones. You get bad ones. Mm, I didn't feel like that was a good one. Like it wasn't bad, but it was like you know you put roller lash on. You're like, oh, love it. I didn't get that with that. So that's why I wouldn't purchase that. Yes, that one's done. Next, I have an eyeliner. Now this eyeliner was very weird. It had a sponge in it. I bought this off the internet. I can't remember how where I got it from. I don't even have a brand name on. It's dried out. It's dried out so fast. So, if I ever come across it again and it's, and it's in that kind of pot with a sponge, I definitely won't buy it because of how quick it dried out. I haven't even done it that long. I think I've only used it a few times as well. Like, you just rub your brush through it and just do it, and it's great. But I can't remember doing it more than twice. So, yeah. I am binning today, binning, oh no, an eyeshadow trio from the Beauty Crop. It is called Love You So Latte. It's not all eyeshadow, one's a highlighter, but still, it's an eyeshadow trio to me. You can put the highlighter on your eyes, it's an eyeshadow trio to me. I can't even get into that bloody thing. So that's what it looks like, okay? They're quite cute colours, don't get me wrong. Uh, that's the packaging, beautiful. I'm sure it's cruelty free. It's a lovely little eyeshadow. I just feel like I don't reach for it because I feel like I'm past this part of my life with these little teeny tiny trios. I feel like I'll give that to my child. I won't bin it. I'll give it to my kid. And that's what that makeup is to me. I'll give it to my kid. I've got eyeshadow palettes that I pay 40 quid for. I kind of want to use them. Um, I just, I didn't love it. So, it's good. I have a concealer. This is the NYX Professional HD Studio concealer blah 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 looks like this i was the shade cw02 um it's empty i've even removed the bung there is some some products at the bottom but i can't get to it because the brush has never reached the bottom i liked it i did feel towards the end though it was like it's separated and it's not that old like i'd put it on i feel like i'd get like a greasy patch and a color and it was all right when i blended it in i just mm, I probably won't buy it again. I won't be mad if someone brought it to me. I'd definitely use it, but I don't think I'd buy it. I don't think, no. 
I have two lipsticks to share with you. One is this beautiful little teeny tiny chubby stick in the shade Roundest Roseberry. It's gone. It was tiny. These lids are a nightmare. They just literally work their way off in your pocket. Um, I just, I didn't like, okay, anyway, whatever. The colour was all right. It wasn't great, but it was all right. I enjoyed it. It lasted. Um, chubby sticks, I do like. It just has to be the correct shade. I don't think I fully enjoyed the purple. Purple's not really, well, I say purple's not me. It's that with a purple lippy on, but it's more of a deep purple. That was quite a purple, and I don't think they really suit me. But I still used it. I used it for work, got rid of it. That's how I roll. The next lipstick I've got is a Max Factor lipstick. This was one of the first expensive lipsticks I brought that, um, it's gone, that I brought uh, to fill my, no, I bought it and then I went and brought, because um, I had about 12 lipsticks, I then went and brought my lipstick holder. And I've never looked back since, but I haven't brought a Max Factor lipstick ever since either. Um, what I've already got, I've got, that might be my last one, I don't 100% know. Um, I like Max Factor lipsticks. They're nice lipsticks. They're usually about £8, £59. You can usually get them on a buy one, get one half price, so it's not too bad. However, I just love my Mac and I love my YSL. I have YSL on today and I just love them. And I don't think I'm going to go back to buying a lipstick that I can get in a drugstore. That might sound snobby and I don't mean it to be snobby in any way. It's just I've saved a lot of money and I've spent a lot of money on my lipsticks and I kind of want to use my nice ones. So, yeah. The next thing I am getting rid of, probably give this to my child as well, is this Meech and Mia eyeshadow. It is number 54 and it is this champagne colour. It comes like this. I haven't even opened it because I don't use these things. I try and I just... They will, mm, I never get on with them. They never ever stay where I want them to. They end up leaking and bleeding everywhere and they just crease and I just, no, 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 no. I have utterly hooded eyes, so it just, they don't work for me very well. But yeah, I just, mm, so it's gone. I'm getting rid. I cleared my drawer out the other day. It made it look a lot neater than it was. Only one drawer. Can't know all in one go. And I looked at it, I was like, it needs to go, it needs to go. So, that was my empties, regrets and reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and click here to subscribe. Don't forget, hit that notification bell. Click over here to check out one of my videos and click down here to see a video that YouTube selected for you. I'd like to thank you so much for watching once again. Don't forget to come back in a few more days where I'll have another video for you guys. Thank you for watching, take care, I'll see you soon and bye bye.